Here you can see how a customer is writing to a company in live agent from a desktop, from a phone. And on the other side, agent is seeing the customer's questions, can sneak into what they're typing. The agent has 360 view into the customer. Here they're accepting chat requests. In parallel, an agent can be chatting with many customers. That looks beautiful, doesn't it? Customers getting their questions answered, service agents serving several customers at the same time, sending them relevant links, seeing all the relevant information about the customers, their telephone number, their previous chat history. But how do we set it up? Go to Setup, open up Salesforce Classic, and put in Live Agent. We'll open up Live Agent Settings. Here is a box. Enable Live Agent. Click Save. All right, now it's enabled. Let's go to Users now. And pick the users that we, for whom we would like to enable Live Agent. So I'd like to enable it for myself. Click Edit. See the checkbox? Live Agent User. Save. Now we will go to Live Agent Configurations. Now you see after we enabled it, all these options opened up. Live Agent Transcripts, Events, Visitors, Sessions. But what we need is Live Agent Configurations. We will create a new set of configurations. Let's call it first developer name. Sneak peek is the ability of service agents to see what the customer is typing. This allows them to prepare responses faster. And when a chat request, chat message comes in, sound, there's a sound for a disconnect, for notifications. So here is myself. This is a user for whom I enabled a live agent. So I'll, for this live agent configuration, I assign this to myself. I can also assign based on profile, system admin, chat conferencing enabled. This is very useful for inviting other agents to join in a chat. Perhaps someone has a different skill, maybe it's someone from another department or someone from another office in London, say, and you're in New York, and this requires both of you to resolve a customer's issue. So here we are enabling transfer of chats to a different agent. So if we don't want conferencing, but we just want to transfer the person, we can do that. We can transfer based on skills. So this one is transferring to a specific person, while this one is transferring based on skill. So maybe someone from the pay payments department but you're from the receivables department. You, you know that you need someone from the payments department, so you just send it to whoever has that skill. We haven't enabled any skills, so this is empty. Let's click Save. We'll go to Live Agent Deployments. Here we go, Live Agent Deployments. We'll call it first again to make it easier. chat window title. We will call the chat window service agents. This is what the customer will see when they're talking to our agent. Yes, let's allow them to save transcripts. This is useful in case they want to refer to the information that they receive. They want to see the links. Right, this is helps us to do some branding, but we don't have any branding. We just want to see how live agent works, how we can set it up. So let's Go to the next step. So we got a deployment ready. Now we'll look at chat button. All right, chat button is automated invitations. Let's call this. This is a chat button. We'll call it first. This will be in English. This will be omni routing. 
wouldn't have omni routing right now so we need to go and set it up all right let me go and set up omni channel okay it's enabled I'll set up a service channel live agent is good let's create a configuration put a handy configuration first priority one this is how many units of chats an agent can have we'll say five each chat is worth one point all right we've got the routing configuration now we'll go to the queue let's create a queue we'll call it first queue name this will be live agent session live this queue will, will serve as live agent sessions live agent transcripts out in configuration the one we just created all right Okay, Q members, myself. Alright, we'll click save. So we gotta we'll click save. Now if we look into the Q, here it is. Alright, the next is about customizing the chat button. Let's skip that. Alright, what's the issue? Overall queue size, okay, let's allow five Q. Okay, we've enabled the chat button. We have everything we need so where do we deploy the chat button let's deploy the chat button to the community the easiest way to deploy a chat button is through a snap-in and I'll show you quickly how to set it up for snap-in you have to go to lightning type in snap-in okay, let's view it it's enabled here it says live agent settings click start uh, deployment first this is what we set up the button it's called first show queue position if you're second third this is useful information how close you are to getting served always enable this okay we'll save we don't want a pre-chat page looks like we're set now let's go to the community and let's deploy the snap in. Let's go to the investors community. I click I should click the builder, not the workspace. Okay. So the snap in is under components. Snap in chat. We can just drop it anywhere. It doesn't matter it'll always appear on the right hand side so the chat deployment is live agent this is what we indicated in the snap-in settings chat with a service agent okay this is it now community users can chat to our service agents now we need to go to us service console and see we we don't have there there is no omni channel here let's set up let's set that up quickly it's very easy in setup if you look for app manager And here, let's look for the service console. And let's go to the utility bar. Let's add the Omni channel. And let's save. Now, if we refresh, we see that the Omni channel is here, but there is no online status, there is only offline. 
the way to fix this is we have to go to our profile system admin profile which is what I have and give it access to the online status and here is how we do it system admin alright see let's look for enable service present status access enable service present status access ok edit ok so we don't even have the online status we have to go to Salesforce Classic and create the online status status present statuses so right now we don't even have an online status so we'll go and create it online online and we'll create it for the live agent channel click save ok we'll go back to the profile let's refresh now we should see the online status so we'll give the online status we'll give access to the system admin profile to the online status now if we go see here the system admin profile has access to the online status okay now back to the service console let's refresh it boom he can go online now he can start accepting chat requests let's go to the community and here the community previously remember it was saying offline now that the service agent is online he or she can accept chat requests and the customer has the message chat with the service agent we should make it shorter yeah chat with the service agent doesn't come up fully so we should just say chat with an agent so we do it to fix it is we click on the snap in and we'll just say chat with an agent we're in the community I've published the changes now let's test it I want to chat with an agent you're saying you're next for chat let's go to the service console and accept it here we can see the chat button that's being used called first the deployment first and this is the IP address where the chat request is coming from this is my home's IP address let's accept this request let's take a look all right here we can see the option there's an option to save the transcript there is an option to end chat and remember the name that we gave to what the customer sees when they're talking we gave it the name agent I to understand so the customer is trying to understand when will I receive my free fund and this message came up and say I'm not from the refund department what I can do is I can transfer this but there are no other agents right now online so that I cannot transfer um, what else I can show here we can see the past chats since there were no past chats nothing showing here are the details of the chat what time it started once it this finishes we'll see the end time how long the person waited and we if, if we know the contact if we know who is the person we're chatting with we can attach this chat to their name so let's say this is this test contact so now this chat transcript will show up in the related list of said test one and do you remember about the sneak peek here's how it works so let's say this is what the customer is typing up sneak peek allows us to see that this is what they've written so far so this is useful for us to prepare an answer and service our customer faster okay let's say we've answered the customer's question everything is done 
and now they want to end the chat and the chat close it the chat has ended here for me I can close it here let's go to the user say test one okay I haven't there is no related list for the for the chat transcript but I can attach it quickly okay here we go here's the live chat transcript related list I'll edit okay all right let's go back to the contact service console okay here's save test one and here's the live chat transcript and this is the chat transcript we just had hi so after minute after our chat the chat started this is what the visitor wrote this is what save wrote etc so next time save comes online and chats with us we can see the, what the past requests are what is we spoke to them and gives us a more fulsome picture of uh, our interactions with this customer voila